On this episode of NSFW Show, we have not one but two huge announcements. We figure out what we're doing on Night Attack Live at Dragon Con. We tell you what to expect at our live Dragon Con show on Sunday in the Crystal Ballroom in the Hilton. Also, a final week of the Movie Draft Minute. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. Double wink. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 193, recorded on August 26, 2013. Rejected Vagina Monologues. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be. Anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to ProXPN.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW8. Ting! Ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay for what you use, doesn't require a contract, and offers unlimited devices on one pooled plan. To save $25 on your first Ting device, visit nsfw.ting.com. That's nsfw.ting.com. Well, Super Tuesday in the rear view mirror, and the results show a little something for everybody. Doug Zader is live in D.C. with the update on all of this. Doug, good morning. Good to see you. I guess six three one, pretty much the way it breaks down, eh? Maybe. Hello, Doug. Hi, Doug. Uh, I guess not. We'll check in in a minute. Uh, oh, that means it has got to be go time. We're in SF New W, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the web, and that's the show that's nominally safe for work. Hello, beautiful party people. It's me, Brian Brushwood. Exploring the fabulous Wonderland from the from the Twit Central Studios in Austin, Texas, joined by the uh, real winners out there in the Petaluma Studios. Uh, it's just a Robert Young. What's going on, JRY? Ah, oh, hello, Bry. Uh, I'm I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, I'm good, man. That is a big ass beard. You're sporting a bab. I thought bab Brenda was had my a initials. Big ass beard. Uh, I got the big ass, big ass bushy beard. That's there's three B's in it. Big ass bushy beard, bro. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. At the end, <laughs> big ass bushy beard, bro. Bam. bam. And Get that then on a all belt the buckle. hair just explodes off my face. <laughs> yeah, I want that as an animated GIF, and like the unicorn, all the the wildlife runs away and exactly. sparkles come and it's out, all man. Just like. Uh, small squirrels and cherubs and uh, like 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 uh, uh, music notes that are that are flying. Here's what we gotta away. do. Here's what our secret plan has to be. We need to real quick make this a meme, get it to blow up all over the world, so that you can cosplay as, as the big ass beard bro, bam, bam guy at Dragon Con. See, this I'll is, tell you what. Then, then you don't have to worry about it. And then I ain't got to do nothing for a costume. How do you like them apples? Well, I'll tell you what. Speaking of Dragon Con, we're going to be talking a whole hell of a lot about it. And here to join us is our support team. You've uh, seen one of them on the show. Let's go ahead to him first. It is OMG Chad Johnson. Hey, I'm here. Host of This Week in YouTube. Omnipresent here on the Twit Networks. And uh, someone that uh, longtime fans of the show know very, very well, P. Delahenty, Patrick Delahenty. Yes, I think it's 210 episodes or so since I've last been on BB Live Show. Yes. Yeah. But, but what have you done say, for the this, show? We've aged like, you like a fine wine. Not really much. Okay. I, I haven't really watched anything since then. I so. didn't think so. I mean, all right. Now hold on. We do. We do listen, have to take a moment here, Chad, because is this is this legitimately the first time Patrick is officially on an NSFW episode? Yes. Because I think if so. that is the yes. case, we've got to bring people up to speed. Patrick Delahanty was one of the original people to watch the earliest. You were there at the very first episode of BB Live Show. Yes. And you are the one uh, who created the BBpedia, 
Uh, and 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 you followed every. You're the one whose studio we used when we did uh, the worst Twitter uh, person in the universe, and when I yes, slapped yes. John Tilton across yes. the so face. You've been and when physically on, because I think you were you were yeah. on that worst Twitter contest, Horse working Boy the board. Yeah, and the DragonCon ones, and yeah, a lot. But but this is you as a person. Now you've all grown up, and now you do what over at Twit? You're their their master of web ceremonies. You wear a tuxedo and. Throw yes. RSS yeah, sprinkles. Yeah, he's a gong, and he walk. He makes his way in while a soft blanket of mist uh, envelops the floor. We have three <laughs> interns that that are constantly at the ready just yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and and uh, do well, the web stuff. And then he, quiet, he quietly, quietly never... eats a kale salad, coughs <laughs> twice, and edits one line of code, and then leaves. So and someone else brings him work. a napkin. Yes. So since this is our first opportunity face-to-face -face here on NSFW, I want to raise a mug to you and say uh, thank you for everything you've done over the years, man. Cheers. You've been invaluable, and I'm oh, really thrilled that you made it out there to Petaluma. You want to know what, that's Brian? That's huge. Um, we've, we've praised uh, Patrick enough, and it's... Uh, no, you it's, haven't. No, time, to, time to trash him. Time no, to take him down no, a peg. Brian, What's up, actually, Bean Paul? Um, uh, you weren't so goddamn tall. tall. Our, ratings, <sighs> our ratings would be bigger. It's, uh, it's, it's high time that we enjoyed some praise. Me and you. Uh, well, that's we'd have to do something praiseworthy, and I well, don't think that's apparently the case. some people uh, think that we are praiseworthy. We got a genuine fan mail uh, to the Twit Studios in you, Petaluma. You mean, it's, it's fan. It's fan email. They sent it to. They send email. It was a physical, uh, and and I'll, I'll show you what it came in in a second. But let me read the uh, let me read the 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 letter, handwritten letter. NSFW, you guys are awesome. There's a large following. At the Boy Scamp, uh, the Boy Scout camp at which we work, and we wanted to thank you guys so much for doing your thing. We sent up these water bottles as our way of saying that we appreciate what you do. Yours, Camp Witset Staff, and it, uh, they sign it with our signature diamond logo. And we have here, yours is coming to you in Austin. Uh, Shut your face. A Camp Witset. Let me get the logo going. Yeah, there we go. It's a it's a beaver with a uh, with with a uh, looks like an axe. Yeah. Now the beaver the beaver is he the boy scamp that you were talking about the <laughs> the lovable boy scamp? Uh, did I say boy scamp? <laughs> yes, you did. You did. It's a boy scamp. The boy camp, scamp you see. is actually my uh, my my rival organization that I've set up uh, to finally oh, bring down the boy the scamp. B BSA, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so no. The, so the boy scout camp uh, wit set. Uh, they are located in Southern California. I, I looked them up. Thank you guys very, very much for listening. Uh, it is questionable that you should be listening, considering <laughs> the age you have to be to be a Boy Scout. I I'm think gonna, this I'm would gonna, be the staff I'm members. Just, yeah, I'm thinking the staff. It pretty it read as the staff. Let's just all decide it's the staff, and that way, if we're wrong, then how about we legally uh, make the decision that it's only the yeah. staff that's listening? Now that but, that bottle's pretty empty. You need to fill it with something. Because the thing is, Brian, the motto of the Boy Scamps. Is always be prepared. Be drunk. Oh, be oh. prepared to get drunk. Which is why it's great. Because otherwise, <laughs> I'd be pouring this bottle of ruin right, right into your on throat. The TNT set. Yeah. Hey, can I can I tell you? Uh, I I gave my last bottle of ruin to the guy who runs the liquor store around the corner, and the, you know, it's like it's it's always a little bit weird when you when you start to recognize face to face with the guy who running the liquor <laughs> store, where it's like, you know, where you're just like like I don't have a problem, do I? I mean, I'm just picking up you know the usual, and then um, but I was telling him I'm like, hey, you do wine tastings every Friday here, right? And I was like, and I told him a bit about the the Ruinum idea. And he was like, oh, that's hilarious. Like, and when you get to the moment where you talk about the, you know, the big lie that is what ruins the world, uh, you know, everybody responds to that. But but he was excited by the idea. But let me tell you, man, it was a different story. When I gave him a bottle, his eyes kind of bugged out. He's like, oh, wow. Like, it was clear, like, whatever it was he was imagining was not the slick, awesomely packaged, you know, foil-plated Ruidum bottle that we handed over. Yeah, no, we, it is absolutely legit. It's also available for you at Ruinum.com, <laughs> shipping right now. Uh, so, so yeah, um, hopefully, yeah. If you really want Ruinum, then go to a liquor store near you and demand uh, to have it. Otherwise, you can get it for yourself at Ruinum.com. <laughs> Right now. Go to a liquor store and demand $20 from the man at the register so that you can buy Ruinum online at Ruinum.com. Absolutely. Guns optional. Wait. All right, so look, we've got um, we got a lot to get through, and I don't know what order that we should. Well, we have uh, we two of big announcements. Have... 
And, and we and we can put those out in the because we have one that has to do with Dragon Con and one that does not have to do with Dragon Con. And I would I would make the uh, I would say that that we should get the one that doesn't have to do with Dragon Con out first. Sure. Yes. Let's let's announce it, ladies and gentlemen. We're fired. We hope you enjoyed NSFW. <laughs> And that's it. So yep. I'm going to go pack my stuff. <laughs> and, so, uh, Dragon Con will be fun. It was great. <laughs> it was a great time. You guys were great. It wasn't It wasn't you. It was us. Thanks for getting me hired at Twitter. It's time to go. And oh, I forgot the movie draft minute. Oh, oh, movie draft minute. Well, you. Oh, okay. You know what? Screw it. I'm undoing the announcement. Fine. Oh. We're going to keep doing NSFW for the rest of our lives until we'll die. Quick, real quick, come up with a different announcement, Justin. Uh, the So our next show is going to be at the Dragon Con show. That'll come out next Tuesday. But the week after that, we will not be doing a live show either because we will be recording on Friday and we will do our best to stream it live, an episode entirely dedicated to a musical act that we are Really, really huge uh, fans of. Ladies and gentlemen, the definitive. Old John Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to steal you. <laughs> the definitive <laughs> turquoise Jeep experience uh, will be here. Uh, Jeremy, if you can turn up my audio here. Line one. No, that shorty is a go. Go. When I try to smack it, shorty said no. Uh, they will. The whole crew will be here. They're performing live. Uh, interviews. Uh, the entire thing we're dedicating wall to wall. Turquoise Jeep. Uh, it is going to be a hell of a time. We are super pumped that we are able to make this happen. So go ahead and hit them up at Turquoise Jeep right now and let them know that you are really pumped that they will be here live in the Petaluma studio performing for you. Next Friday. Not this coming Friday, but next Friday. And, Justin, this is not something we discussed. But I don't know if I can handle being trapped inside a television set for another run-through of the Jeep. I mean, there's only one way to make that right, Bri. And that's uh, for you I mean, to get up on a, a Southwest flight. Fly on out here. Be up here when the Jeep rolls okay, in. Okay, like you, you have no idea how difficult it is for me to not right this minute be googling flights and seats. See how many how points it's gonna, gonna take to get you here? Yeah, because then also you know you realize it's been almost a year since I was last on Twit as well. Because we had we fell in that habit where every time I was doing scam school out in uh, San Francisco, I would stay and do this week in tech. And then, like, whoever it is that's booking the show now hasn't asked me once. Well, actually, yeah. he asked me once because he had somebody cancel. Right. And then he canceled on me right. because he found somebody in the flesh. Hey, right. by the way, so you want to know that, how who, booked on Twit? Who books Twit? Talk to Chad on Sunday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> Just give Chad a call on Sunday mornings because this is every conversation with Chad on a Sunday morning. Uh, like, hi, Chad. Hey, what's up? Uh, whatever the topic of conversation is. So, <laughs> so, do you want to be on Twitter? Do you want to be on Twitter? <laughs> what are you doing later today? What are you doing? Um, That's yeah. the way you get You're obviously on free because you're on the phone with me now. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, let me um, let me look at the schedule, actually. Uh, uh, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll figure all right, it out. Whatever. Just, it's all flight of fancy right now. Who knows if it'll go anywhere. Uh, uh, okay, so Turquoise Jeep in person. Uh, man, they are they are blowing the hell up. So, a while back... I offhandedly called them like the tenacious D of rap, but the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking that's an apt analogy. Like they take an iconic time, they take it to 12 doing what that iconic time in that genre does and uh, and with the intentionality that makes it freaking over the top hilarious. I just want to see, they, they just need an HBO series that chronicles the adventures of Turquoise Jeep when they're not doing their amazing hip hop videos. Uh, I'll tell you what, I think they are a... I, I don't even know if I could say that that Tenacious D was 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 a, a great comparison because I feel like they are they are a wholly unique entity. They are they are just the Jeep, and you're right. They are blowing up. They deserve a show that chronicles uh, what goes on in their lives. And in fact, again, never before has the Jeep opened themselves up to just a full hour special, and that's really what we're doing. We are doing a turquoise Jeep. NSFW special uh, next Friday. So we're going to follow up. Brian, we have this show, which let's prepare you for. It's going to suck. This one is a real <laughs> stinker. 
Okay. <laughs> you ever you ever you ever see a show where it's like it's not imagine if you went to go see uh we'll say the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. And you tuned in and our, well, we'll say The Dark Knight, right? You, you know, Chris Nolan's follow-up to Batman Begins. The Dark Knight. And you show up, and the episode is And there's nothing. a guy with red hair in the back of the theater. Right. And and there's no, the whole show <laughs> is right. nothing but Christopher Sorry. Nolan talking about how good The Dark Knight Rises is going to be. And by the way, can you help him write it real quick? Yeah. And that's what this episode is of NSFW. Uh, and then we have, we have Dragon Con. This show sucks. Dragon Con's next week. And then the week after that, we have the Turquoise Jeep special. This is like the most backloaded, amazing trilogy of episodes we've ever, <laughs> ever had. But this is the this is the uh, the important thing is that we, um, you know, this is guiding the avalanche both for that episode and for the Dragon Con thing. Because uh, look, I'm not gonna lie, Dragon Con, we got full plates. Uh, I would say, for the first time ever at Dragon Con, we have been granted such access and so much privilege that it's a problem for me. Like, I don't know. There's parts that I think we'll do fine. Okay. Every year on Dragon Con, we've had to prove ourselves up until this yeah. year. This year, our reputation is good enough that we keep, they, they we, you know, the first year they put us in a small room that we overcrowded. So then they moved us to the crystal ball room. We were thrilled that we pretty much filled it. And then last year we totally filled it. It was amazing. Uh, this year they got us there again. And I feel like we'll feel it again, especially when we have uh, our secret announcement that, that we give out. Yeah. But they also gave us, so we got three every single day of Dragon Con. There's a big Bri Bri and the Jerbs uh, presence, a uh, big stage show. One is Friday night. We're doing Night Attack Live. Yeah. Which uh, which went over very well at, uh, at, at uh, Nerdtacular in Utah. Uh, we don't necessarily know what we're going to do. We hope it'll be good. Um the second which, day which is going to be is, is like our house mantra of of the Night Attack series, both the the albums and the live components. Is we don't know if it's going to be good, but hopefully it will be. We're we're gonna have that uh, sewn onto our chest, like yeah. uh, we do not sew right next to uh, right next to. We're not sure if it's going to be good, but we we think you'll like it. Question mark. Eh. Eh. Uh, so, we have, so, so we have uh, Night Attack, Saturday Night Attack live on Friday. Right, correct. And uh, uh, Saturday night will be um, the, uh, uh, I'm doing the full Bizarre Magic show for the first time since 2010. Uh, and uh, I, I'm thinking about bringing a couple of the routines that are much, much bigger pains in the asses just to give some different stuff for everyone this year. Uh, but the show went really well last time. It's the most polished thing that I do. Uh, I think you'll like it a lot. And then uh, Sunday, of course, we got NSFW live. We're going to rock everyone's balls off. We're going to melt their faces. We're going to use whatever melted their faces to cauterize their crotches. And then uh, and then we're going to uh, uh, do a... a we're going to dress them up like a tiny sailor. And uh, we're going <laughs> to pimp them out on the street like a, like a yes. Puerto Rican uh, street pimp. I would like to point out how much I love the fact. Take a look at the chat room as I'm as I'm doing my terrible analogy. It's like people are like, oh, no, my balls. Balls off? Mega vortex. Woo! Everyone's worried about their junk except for Mega Vortex. He just can't wait for the show. Um, all right. So anyway, the point is it, it's going to be really, really good. Uh, but we've got some decisions to make uh, going into it. Namely, what are we going to do on the night attack thing? Because in yeah. Utah, we had this uh, this concept idea we, where it's we like, let's to do, do an interview. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we basically wanted to do our homage to the Mel Brooks, Carl Reiner uh, albums that were all interviewing characters. And uh, it went really well. So well that we really have a finished, edited album uh, of just that. But because that wound up taking longer than we expected, which is to say we <laughs> just said we didn't do it, and then eventually <laughs> we did it, uh, we figured it was just as well to see what we get out of the Atlanta one, uh, the Atlanta version of, of Night Attack Live. So... The question is what exactly we're going to do. Uh Brian, should I should I lay on them my my performance art concept? <laughs> Hold on. Uh oh yes, no, this is definitely happening. There's one decision we've made and that is I'm going to let you do the honors, Justin. Uh for those uh who are listening or uh, watching this on either the video feed or watching live, you can see that I've grown a luxurious beard. Uh 
what I am I'm going to do during Night Attack Live is between each track, because we kind of we have like a beginning and an end to to all the conversations that we do, even when we record it for the albums. Uh I'm going to shave it down until I'm eventually clean shaven on stage. Right. Into various but. hilarious configurations. So we just need okay, now. we need Chat Realm's help to find the the progression of exactly how it goes down to. And Brian, can you please lay on them what the end point, or at least the second to last okay. point is going What's to be? All right, now, okay, this is the, uh, first of all, it's not second to last. I can think of like three more phases between this <laughs> and clean shaven, all right? But it's like you start, whatever it is, and we got to take like quick photos of them in each of the configurations, and we need names for each of the beard types. And eventually... I want to see a shirt made of nothing but photos of you and all these different beard configurations. But it's like, it's got to progress because, you know, you can only shave hair off. You can't put it back on. Yeah. So it's got to keep on going. So like, um, so first of all, the last one has to be the Hitler. <laughs> Let me just throw that out there right now. Yeah. Which In means, the U.S. Airways shirt. Yes. Going back, <laughs> which means going backwards from there, it means like the second to last one could be like um, Wolverine Hitler, which is yeah. like a Hitler mustache with the Wolverine mutton chops on the side. And it's like, well, where do we go before that? And uh, and and the question, and what well, do we, we call had, we them all? We had quite a fun time talking about Wolverine Hitler when we first. <laughs> well, and that's and that's the thing. That actually hit us up. Hold on, Bonnie's back in to tell us what a terrible idea this is. Did, uh, you, you could talk, or you weren't listening, were you? I was going to say, it's only funny if you wax it off. Wax oh. off. <laughs> Cut Bonnie's mic. Get Bonnie yeah. out of there. She, no. She's, no, not no. She's not going. She's not going to Dragon Con. She's no authority. I've been told to cut your mic. You're out of here. Get you're banished from the studio. <laughs> sorry, sweetheart. Uh, uh, so yeah, we had idea. quite a fun time talking about. Wait, I don't know. You know, Bonnie might be onto something. You know, what might be great. Termites. Termites on your face <laughs> to get the beard off. And well, we'll okay, just, we'll so we were put thinking it in about jars. So yeah, they yeah, no. Certain parts. Yeah, you do the thing where you kind of heat up the jar and it sticks to your skin. Um, <laughs> or you give so a member of chat room a straight razor and let them do it. Yeah, no. Or we tug each hair out individually. <laughs> Tweezers, yeah. Actually, I think, so, uh, I think actually so, the straight razor uh, somewhere Wolverine. is an artist. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the moment the words Wolverine Hitler came out of my mouth, I instantly thought, like, man, how would, how would Wolverine be Hitler? And we started cooking up. Like this time travel movie in which, uh, in which, uh, in, uh, to to fix something to yeah. to, to well, well, Wolverine, death. Wolverine kills Hitler, but because uh, he realizes that there would be mass chaos if Hitler was just gone, he has to pretend he's Hitler uh, he has until to be Hitler, he can right? surrender to the Allies. <laughs> exactly. So, like, um, maybe like a now the thing is, is he's not uh, among his strengths. Uh, you know, uh. Acting is not one of them. No. But he's got to do something because he knows he's already seen the future. It's like he time travels back, kills Hitler. Like, there you go, bub. And then and then it goes back and he's like, whoa, this is not what I wanted. Because, like, I don't know, Stalin's taking over the world. So he goes back again, but it's like there's no actors. He he can't, he doesn't have the resources to get someone else. He's like, only one person doesn't belong in this timeline. Me. I've got to be Wolverine Hitler. Yeah. And so then he uh he, you know. Shaves down to the Hitler mustache, but can't resist leaving a little bit of the sideburns. Yeah, and, and uh, everybody just thinks then, it's like a like a really hip Joe Namath Hitler initially, and they're like, "Wow, <laughs> Defure, you're really catching up with the times." <laughs> and he's like, "You're damn right, bub." Uh, and so <laughs> we should stop killing the Jews, bub. <laughs> <laughs> we need to surrender to the Allies, bub. I'm having second thoughts about the Eastern Front, bub. <laughs> no, also, Ava, I'm gonna you run sleep in the guest in the room tonight, bub. <laughs> I'm going to run around naked in the forest for a few days killing things, bub. BRB. <laughs> and then he comes back. He's like, they're like, uh, didn't you used to speak German? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I'm sorry. I smell cyanide capsules, bub. Get him out of here. <laughs> I don't know where this could go. The FLS Carnage nailed it. He's he's shouting from the chat room saying, "Stop using all the material." And this is it. Like cuz I feel, it, like once we started riffing, 
This we is an endless like, like, wellspring. I swear to God, if you bring up Wolverine Hitler during at Night Attack Live, there's no way we don't go for another 40 minutes on Wolverine Hitler. Wolverine Hitler so, is an infinite topic of conversation. Uh, yes, but that's just the beginning. We need to create a document of suggested show ideas right now for tracks. You guys have, have heard, for example, one of the best tracks on Night Attack 2 was, in my opinion, uh, uh, Bangable Monsters. It had a different name, but you you get the idea. Yeah. Where we start riffing on which of, of the classic uh, horror movie monsters you would have sex with. Now, here's what a lot of people don't know, is that was our second take on the same idea. You could kind of tell that, like, Justin gets the idea instantly. That's the only tell that we had on it. But we, uh, it was a big eye-opener to me that that track turned out so great on its second go-round because it meant... Uh, much to my horror and delight that we could actually maybe <laughs> practice some of this. I like, I like that you're like, much to my horror ah! and delight. Ah. 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 I would like to have sex with Frankenstein's bride. Ah. <laughs> but, but that's my point. That's my point is that I think, um, I think that if we got a list from Chat Realm, if, if Chat Realm wanted to make a list of topics to go with in that vein. Maybe we'll pick our favorites and just pull them out of a bowl or whatever. I, I, I don't know. That's suspiciously close to like an improv troupe though, which we... Well, this is kind of our improv brand to be fair. Well, you got, you have material like every single time that you shave your face, you name what type of beard style that is oh and then riff God. off yeah. that. That's what I was thinking. That's what it is. You put all of... That's you take, yeah. glue. Take photos of all of them, put them yeah. on the album cover so people that weren't there can see can what they Can see are. the thing. So yeah. we, we need to do this at least... This is what we do. Yeah. Look, okay, this is like the nine faces of Justin Robert Young is yeah. the theme... And we chop, we create nine distinct looks, and we have to come up with backstories for each of these well, I would guys. Say it doesn't necessarily, some we, of them can be interviews, right? And some of yep. them can be like just us talking about, like it can be just like, oh, Wolverine Hitler. Let's just make jokes about Wolverine Hitler, or like you know, <laughs> people, or, people are saying the the nine faces, like nine, 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 nine. People nine. are suggesting that it just all they all have the Hitler mustache. Like that's the only thing. That's that the first thing you go for yeah. is the sta just, Hitler and stash. So first, it's like Mountain Man Hitler. And yeah. Just, <laughs> You know, oh I live God. out in Montana now. It's just, uh, it's a pure lifestyle I like for the me. fresh air, you it's know. It's just <laughs> big sky country. It just says Adolf. Oh, my God. That was a very, that's, uh... That's, <laughs> that, was, that, that, was, was the that, was, that was Bear Hitler. Hitler. Like duck. Oh, Gilbert Godfrey. It's yeah. a very Gilbert yeah. Godfrey Hitler impression that I have. Oh, my I'm God. I'm the Fuhrer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, I think I think they nailed it. I think I think that chat realm just needs to make that document. We can work with those. And uh, so here's and the question: uh, FLS Carnage uh, asked the question: Is is the full beard the Galifianakis or the Alan Moore? Oh, neither. Oh well, I'm not, I don't know. Alan Moore. I I kind of like the idea of Alan Moore. Uh, the other Alan Moore, like the insurance adjuster, Alan Moore, <laughs> who who maybe is like bitter about Alan Moore. The other Alan Moore. Making everyone freak out, thinking he was a weirdo. <laughs> I don't do snake magic. <laughs> Neither version of Walter White. I didn't. Too. I yeah. didn't write no pornographies about uh, uh, the freaking three little bears or whatever. <laughs> pornographies. <laughs> pornographies. Uh, all right. So so all right. So so we'll go back to the chat realm and uh, and and look uh, at what you guys can come up with. Somebody come up with a doc, and um, we will go. From there, in terms of finding out what I'm going to shave my crazy face into, but Brian, Dude, so so wait, wait, real quick though. I know you're we're about to do an ad, but some but somebody called your beard the Rothfuss, which just makes me remember how awesome Patrick Rothfuss was on NSFW and how bad we need to get him back. Yes, he was just on something else, and it was funny because when I saw that they had get, grabbed him as a guest, uh, it was tabletop. I was like. Dang it, they're stealing our, our guests. Like, we found him first. He was better on our show. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. He's, he's, he's the best. Is he going to be a dragon gun? I don't know. That's what I was just wondering. I was just thinking, uh, I'll tell you who I know is going to be there is uh, Professor Elemental is going to be there. He says that he can't make NSFW because he has an early flight the next day. I'm just going to say, here's here's my game plan. I'm going to write him. I'll be like, real bummer that you can't be there. But but he but, did say but we should get the together and have a beer. announcement. Well, Okay. 
we've got the big announcement for one, but two, uh, that's here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's get together and have a drink. Where are you texting, texting? Oh, we're finding each other. We're having a drink. Then I lay on him the big announcement and see how like it's going to be kind of a big deal on the Internet. Maybe media coverage sure would be great if, you know, we had an awesome steampunk hip hop artist there. And then uh, and then just go bloop, 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 and then we make all the monies. <laughs> and then infinite cash. <laughs> uh, also, we can confirm we will have no hobo t-shirts available for sale. Uh, well, that's the plan. We're still waiting on them to arrive. They are made. They are in the the, the production facility in Chicago, Illinois, uh, Downers Grove, actually. But they'll uh, but they are scheduled to arrive on Thursday at the hotel. So at some point, <laughs> hopefully, Brian. Yeah, are you sick of uh, the government? And and your ISP snooping all up in your beeswax. Jeez, you, you know you know what I caught the government doing the other day. Reading my emails, I was sending, I was writing some delightful fan fiction. Yeah. To uh, well, this is before I found out that the Iron Lady, um, uh, Madeline Albright, <laughs> which isn't right at all. Wow. Hi. We're already going way sideways on this, but let's just roll with it. Okay, so you're <laughs> I was uh, Brian. Brian, Brian you're the email, and I'm the government. What? Oh. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> dear Janet Reno, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, sorry, I'm the government. Uh, actually, the Iron Lady uh, was not Madeleine Albright or Janet Reno. It was a British <laughs> Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. Oh, God, Frank, your government. It's so creepy of you to do that. I'm just... All right, I'm gonna be you quick. should probably <clears throat> shave. It's not your business. I haven't tweeted the picture yet. <clears throat> I, I can I see believe you. It. Okay, look, that's your it. eyes I'm sorry. look sad. No, the government. I'm done. I'm done. Well, uh, uh, th th no, you always say this. The, uh, In fact, government? I can list the last 18 times you've said this with a timestamp. Okay, but you know what's different about this time? Why? With the government? Why? Pro XPN. I'm pulling back the curtain. Do you know what this curtain is? It is the curtain of 512 bit encryption. And it and it separates the two of us. And now you can and maybe you can get through there, but it's not gonna be worth your time and effort. There you go. Take that, sir. Actually, you know what? It may it may sound like we're in some way implying that ProXPN will protect you from the actual government if you're committing crimes, which of course is not the case. No. Uh, but what it will do. Well, yeah, I mean, you weren't committing a crime. You were just writing a letter. ProXPN, <laughs> ladies and germs, is a global VPN that works with almost any internet connection. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel through which all of your online data passes back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> any online application can work with ProXPN, including your web browser, email, file sharing, and instant messaging programs. ProXPN keeps everything you do online hidden from prying eyes. Uh, disguising your physical location and giving you unfettered access to any website or online service, no matter where you live or travel to. Brian, I've heard that you oftentimes uh, use your internet uh, whilst hidden under a blanket. Uh, okay, you know what? I used to. And can we just let that rumor go? I used to use uh, Pro. I used to use a blanket, but now I use ProXPN because you know what? Look at this right here on their site. I'm pretty sure. Better than a blanket. <laughs> That was me. Now it's no longer me. There's now a Pro XPN app for Android in the Google Play Store that supports Open VPN. Get that in your life. Uh, go to proxpn.com slash twit for more information on how to sign up. Brian. Yeah. Uh, normally, Pro XPN Premium accounts, which is how you have to say it. Premium. Pre pre the, 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 the premiums, yeah. The premium. The premium well, ship. Well, it's... it's we sell uh, on the schedule. It says that we sell our services at a premium. A premium. We're XP, pro XPN. Pro XPN premium accounts. Normally $9.95 a month or $74.95 for an entire year. We've got a special. Your risk? <laughs> your risk? Nil. Nil. Absolutely nil. Because <laughs> we've got a special offer. Use code NSFW to receive 20% off your lifetime, the lifetime of your account. That's less than 5 I, I can't think of the pound conversion. <laughs> Less than five dollars <laughs> a month. Nothing like that. Uh, on the yearly plan. If you're not satisfied, you can cancel within seven days for a full refund. You know why you have to do that? Why accent. Is that? It's because they have actually servers all over the world. Yes. And you know they have servers Dude, in the UK, what, Asia. You know what happened was 
Justin was speaking those lines in American, yep. but he was using Pro XBN yes. to, to get around region locking, making it look like he was in uh, London, France. Yeah. Or so some when he other when he gets to those, you know, France. those those web players are all like, yeah. this isn't available in your country. It's like I can tell. I love the accent. It's yeah. great. It's great. I can tell. Let's go, go ahead and play this. ProXPN.com slash twit and sign up with the code NSFW. We thank ProXPN for the support of NSFW. Code NSFW, ProXPN.com slash twit is where you want to go. Uh, and it's Brian, than you want to know like how you know right that I have grown as a professional broadcaster? Oh, you, you, I was, I'd was. much rather hear how you've grown as a professional broadcaster than find out how you've grown in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sassy episode. Because <laughs> here's a line that I was going to use in the ad All right. that I've saved until after the ad so we don't have to have it edited out and get yelled at. Yep. Yep. Uh, Chad, let's rewind it back okay, to okay. you saying uh, wow, why, Justin, why, why I'm speaking in the accent. They have servers all over, even including Asia. Chad, <laughs> God damn it. No, you say... You have servers I was all looking the for the for the no, I wrong know. accent. No, okay, go you ahead. Say, I say yes, and here's the Australian server. Ah, so <laughs> me wrong, Pro XPN. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I knew you too well. I know, but you went right for the joke. <laughs> Sorry. You blew up the punchline. All right, all right. Now, okay, now let me let me point this out, Justin. I know your go-to bit is to, like, stop everything and the deconstruct like you did it wrong. But, like, is there a reason the bit couldn't have gone, like, Chad says the word Asian, and you just roll with it and then do the exact same bit? It seems like that would have worked right then. Because then the joke is just me making an Asian, <laughs> uh, an Asian stereotype okay, joke. I, spoiler where alert. That was always the joke. No, because the I'm joke sorry, is sorry. that it's the Australian server that you expected to be another accent, and then it is a, a, an offensive accent. See, that's see. The, that's a joke. So at least I can hide behind the idea that it is a larger joke instead of just saying, don't Asians talk funny. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that works for me. Hey, um, you, you want to do another ad? <laughs> Oh, man. Let's... I don't know why I'm trying to take control of no, this no, show. No, steer the show. You steer so, this boat. Somebody uh, has to. You said you had Ruin two... them. Available at <laughs> ruinem.com, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Poor Anthony. <laughs> all right. Oh, they, there's nothing right. Everything's fine here. We're all, we're all good. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm looking right now at what I believe is... Let's take a little look here at... God damn it. No, I can't. I'm not going to show... Yeah, explain what fast. you're looking at. Uh, okay, this is what's Brian looking at. Um, uh, it's got Wolverine in it, for starters. It appears to be a uh, historical photograph, and it's labeled Marvel's newest franchise. Does that spell it out enough? Ah. Unicorn Wolverine. No. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, is ah, it Wolverine Mary slips. Curie? No, it's not. It's not. Oh, uh, oh man. Wolverine Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> Wild hair. Wolverine you know what? Young Let's just, Einstein. <laughs> Let's just say yes. It's now, it's Wolverine Young Einstein. That's it. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, their newest movie, Wolverine <laughs> oh, Young no. Einstein. Oh, damn oh, it. No. Damn it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, all right. So we've got, oh, uh, people are already going crazy on the dock, by the way. They already have a jury's beard doc. We've got uh, the Macho Man, Randy Savage, uh, Hulk Hogan, Captain Morgan, Fidel Castro, Mick Foley with Mr. Sacco, Mr. T, Patrick Rothfuss. Oh, dude, Mr. T. Do they need to make sure to that bit? each of these names is a link to a photo of the beard type because we got it. We have to on. use this as Hang a on. reference it, during Hang the show. One second, in progression quick. order. Right, Justin. Are yeah. you? Would you be open? Would you be open to making your whole head a canvas for this bit? Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh who, who my God, hair? dude! This now just I will got say this. Walter White. Th this this Walter goes. White. This only goes to a certain point at which Ashley steps in. So yeah, all right. Like I have no problem. I mean, you know so, that so I somebody, would literally oh, sure. eat dirt for the joke. Somebody has to distract <laughs> Ashley, take her out of the room. <laughs> Ashley. Okay, so right in the dark, the let's chat, start working on is shouting. 
no, no, I do not consent. <laughs> She's just like, <laughs> don't you like Breaking Very Bad? Clearly Walter White? Not a fan. <laughs> so I think within Man. reason, we're all right. But uh, I, 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 I have my own ma master to answer to on this one, and that's going to be Ashley. Uh, well, you know what? And, and <laughs> she's the, just uh, screaming. I'm stepping in now. <laughs> like, she's not <laughs> waiting to see where the joke might go. Uh, dude, people are right now saying like eyebrowless jury. I'm not sure anyone wants to see that. Uh, Someone else. Also, yes, I don't do know what the happen. joke is going to be there. <laughs> Yeah, this is the problem when you really <laughs> hold on. We she got says, remember, you have to cosplay on Sunday night. Oh, yeah. No, we have a cosplay on Sunday. So I can't go beyond In what the cosplay, which the cosplay has no beard. So the, the shaving has to happen. Oh, my God. All right. So uh, Morgan Spurlock, you want to rock the Morgan Spurlock? You can mm -hmm. do that. That's also kind of the Hogan, though, right? Yeah, that's Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But that's well, fine. That's fine. Uh, uh, what about the rent is too damn high guy? Nice. Oh. I can do the rent is too damn high. <laughs> oh my God, yes. These need to be in order of yeah. most beard to least beard so that we can. Yes. And we, also, like, take in consideration mustache versus chin stash. Yeah, we may not okay. be able to go from too damn high to Hulk Hogan. Right. Because there's that bit missing in there. No, yeah, but uh, you gotta we, make we, a can, choice. we can take some liberties so we can connect. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah. Well, we can also, we'll Man. have the previous hair, so we can glue Beef. it back to your face. Beef is saying, are we limited <laughs> to only shaving your face? Yes. I'm going to call it at shaving the face. Uh, man. Uh, okay, so we also have, um, <laughs> somebody put Brother Hitler, a.k.a. Soul Patch Hitler. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then people are adding so these like, are the charts, final these five diagrams. all Hitler? <laughs> oh my God! Yes, the final. It has five. to end with Hitler. I mean, unless if it's the pencil as mustache. All jokes end. As all what, jokes what about end with Hitler. Charlie what about Chaplin. the? Uh, oh, you know what Six we could degrees do? Six of what Hitler we, mustaches. What if we got dangerously close to Hitler, but never quite full Hitler? You can't go full Hitler. Well, the problem is also if we're thinking about it as an album, if we have the last four beat like the, like Hitler jokes, then like a quarter of the album is Hitler jokes. Well, so yeah, so that's right. the thing is yeah. Then it's just us, like, just doing a solid 45 minutes on Hitler. Can you can you go from Hitler to pencil bar mustache? No. no or is that's it two, go across, one third? Yeah. So, Brian, as we know, there can yeah. be only one between Hitler and John Waters. Oh, dude, but John Waters would be amazing. What if that we got actual precision, John too. Waters to step in and take over the bit for you? It's me, John Waters. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't even know. This this is just gonna have to blow up on its own. Um, do, do you want to you want to move on to? Okay, so night attack. We have a theme. We have an idea. We're gonna shave your face. We'll do a track. We'll do we'll shave your face. Do another track. We'll come up with something. Hopefully, it'll be funny. If not, then we'll weep silently for the rest of our lives. Uh, Bizarre Magic Show is gonna be the same Bizarre Magic Show I always do. That's all handled. I'm really excited about it. If you've never seen it, there's some good magic in there. Um, are, are you doing uh, Needle in the Eye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like we should uh, we should get some some fun people up there for Needle in the Eye. Needle in the Eye, I feel like always is better when you have the right yes, people when you on get stage. Somebody. Is Jackie Hearn going to be well, there? I'll tell you. What, hang out. Do you, uh, you know what? <clears throat> uh, James Randi came out when I was on one of the skeptic track panels, uh, and I was really flattered when he was there. Uh, I wonder, like, I, I don't think James Randi's ever seen, or really the skeptic crowd in general has seen my show. I'd really like to, uh, I'd really like it if some of them saw it, because there's good stuff in there. I mean, it's like, we, you know, it's it's the product of 15 years of refinement. Uh, yeah, man, that would be good. Uh, so, yeah, James Randi, if you're listening, please report <laughs> to Brian's show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, if he's there, I don't know if he's there, but uh, we might be able to make some kind of interaction like that happen. You know what? I totally just just imagined he was there. Oh, my God. Jay Novella, get some of the guys from the Skeptics Guide to the Universe up there. That would be good. I feel um, like we need excitable people, right? Like people who scream and yell. Yeah. All right, we'll, I don't know. We'll figure that, yeah. we'll figure that <laughs> right out. Right now, by the but, way, but, but, yeah. the vote is on. John Waters versus Hitler. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. I'm going to check in on that stuff real time. 
Hang on one second. Let's see. We'll grab this. We'll paste it over here. Yeah, has Belmont ever seen the needle in the eye trick? Belmont seems like she'd react oh in a comical god, fashion. Oh hilarious. my god, that would be great. Yeah. Uh, okay, strawpoll.me. Here we go. So we've got uh, Jerry Beard Endgame. Pick one. I'm not going to take a vote. I'll just look at the revolt results. I wrote oh. revolts. <laughs> oh my gosh, John Waters. It's John Waters versus Adolf Hitler, ladies and gentlemen. We have a fight on our hands. Adolf Hitler pushing back hard as he's known to do against John Waters. That's really awesome. More people prefer Adolf Hitler. Hitler <laughs> power bottom to John Waters. <laughs> pushing John back Waters. Hard. Uh, Adolf Hitler in the lead. John Waters coming from behind. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll really check curious. back on that one. Uh, Brian. Yeah. Do you want to make our announcement? Our second announcement? Or do yeah, you want to wait? I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. I mean, I here's the here's the wrinkle to the whole thing. We have a special guest at NSFW Live. And the plan, the moment I heard the special guest was there, I was thinking nothing but surprise. It'll be the surprise. It'll be the surprise that blows everyone's mind. It'll be a surprise will be amazing. The surprise will be the surprise. And word won't get out. It'll be on the news. The surprise will be so big. Yeah. And um then uh, then the wrinkle happened of super secret special guest wants to tweet it out and blow it up and make a lot of noise. Yeah. That super secret special guest is coming on the show. Yeah. Uh, you and, guys and got know. J.K. Rowling to be on the show. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's old John well, Smokey. God. All right. How about this? Uh, Brian, how about in preparation for how you are going to celebrate this surprise, you set up a website. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Here's the thing. If I was going to make an announcement, if I was doing this right, you know what I'd do? Is I would make an announcement website. But the problem is I'm no good with the HTs, Ms, or Ls. I don't understand none of that business. I mean, I know a little CSS, but that's on the high end. I don't, I don't understand basic design stuff. What I need is something that looks beautiful. And most importantly, once the news breaks, we'll be able to handle all the traffic. I need something with distributed hosting. I need somebody with a track record of keeping websites alive. And you never know, this announcement might make a little money on the side. Be great if they had commerce as well. Anything strikes your fancy? Squarespace. What? Squarespace. It's a, it's a website uh, company uh, out of old New Amsterdam. That uh, is going to take care of all your website needs. All right. Well, so when you say all my needs, uh, they they they're going to handle the design side for me. How like about I can this? be dumb. How about I just I just list things off and you give me okay. an adjective on how you feel sure. about them. All right, got it. <clears throat> they are constantly improving their platform. Thrilled, thrilled, love it. Beautiful designs. Ah, uh, intensely aroused. Easy to use. Slightly angry, but mainly thrilled. Inexpensive. Confused. How can this be? Mobile ready. Ashamed. <laughs> Very ashamed. How about this one, Brian? Even their code is beautiful. Their code is beautiful. It's Back beautiful. Back to intensely aroused. The offer I'm code that is. Beautiful. I'm very it's interested. True. I saw Squarespace uh, in a crowded room. <laughs> I got an uh, offer code for you. Man, I got NSFW really, really interested. Eight gets you ten percent, and it supports NSFW show. Also, don't forget to send a tweet with a hashtag NSFW Squarespace, and we'll look at them and choose one website to show on the show. Wait, is that a real thing? Is that what we're doing now? Yeah. For real, yeah. NSFW Squarespace. Uh, if you go on there and, and get involved in Squarespace, you can just tweet us right. your website, and we'll show one off. The question now, is, is do you whoa, want whoa, 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 whoa. To, to be shown? I mean, this is... On NSFW, do you want your show? Yeah, of course. Your, okay, first of all, of course. Uh, Chad, no, no, stop no, no. talking. I'm not You're asking. No, no. I'm not asking. Do you want? I'm saying you want to be freaking shown off yeah. on NSFW. Tweet your your. your Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. This is huge. This is the first time we've ever featured somebody's individual web space uh, uh, website from their Squarespace on the show. On their web. No. Their web Go on to squarespace.com. Uh, get it on your own web zone. Uh, no, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, legitimately, this is huge. So, so it's got to be a Squarespace site. 
you have to hopefully have used promo code in SFW8. Uh, uh, and remind tweet. me of a, a chat line I saw after we're done with the ad, so we don't have to. Edit okay, it out. got it. Uh, so here we go. Of course, SEO optimized hosting included, uh, and, and that's ten percent off uh, your new account if you use offer code NSFW8. Uh, and NSFW Squarespace is what you uh, use as a hashtag if you want to show off your website. We thank Squarespace for their support of NSFW. Drop the lower third. I saw the line. Colin H. is now known as Hitler with a one. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler with a one. <laughs> and that made me laugh inside. Uh, man, people are pointing out, this is the game thing. Look at this, man. People are putting this together. Now, uh, people are trying to vote for Adolf Hitler, which shame on you. You shouldn't vote for Adolf Hitler. But people are pointing out that if they choose John Waters, then that opens up Salvador Dali. You can rock the Salvador Dali look. What's Salvador Dali? Uh, you haven't seen Salvador Dali's look? Hang on, I'll find it. I mean, I don't I'll know how you get it to it from the, the pencil thin. Uh, Google.com, and I'll do Salvador. Yeah, no, you'd have to, oh, so you'd, go you'd have to go from, from Salvador. Salvador Dali. But that's even what then, I'm saying. That's, uh, we don't, I don't think we could get, like, this is pretty much <laughs> the worst, or the, the farthest yeah. we can go. You can't do that. It's too... Way too long. Dude, we yeah. can get close enough. You want to do that hair extensions? <laughs> can I can I do weave? <laughs> yes, you can, man. Or we could just go up you. the up the cheeks as if. So here, Jammer B. As if, right? This is as far and I can't I don't even know if you guys can yeah, tell. Oh, dude, it. Yes, we could do this. We need to find we need to find an See, artist. That's as far as it goes. Play. It's fine by me. It's fine by me. We can add extensions. <laughs> Now I'm just looking at weird ass Salvador Dali crap. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff gets weird. Let's keep going. Let's play Salvador Dali roulette. What could go wrong? Didn't we have something else we were going to talk about on the show? Yeah. Well, uh, didn't we have our giant effing announcement that we're well, supposed we to did, have already given? I'm trying to remember if, if there was another topic. Yes. The oh, fact that you robbed. were robbed at gunpoint. We can point. talk about, yeah, me yes. getting robbed. Uh, yes, we got the fact that you got robbed, and actually, uh, that actually ties in. I was actually thinking about this uh, for subjects of other stuff that we could do. Um, what Rob do you think people? of the actual <laughs> night attack? <laughs> yeah, actually, night attack people. No, what, what would you think if on night attack we did a uh, 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 series of discussions of what's the most you've ever broken the law? What's the most, like like a whole theme of <laughs> criminal like whatever the law means to you at different phases in your life when you broke the rules the most or when you got in trouble the most or something like that i thought that would be really interesting that's yeah that's good i don't think of it i can't wait and got caught or unfortunately or, or whatever whatever you know whatever well, is interesting like or the funny things about that, that i've broken the law at the most are like not funny <laughs> Yeah, well, right? and that's that's the thing is you'd have to figure out the soft spot. Like, what's an interesting story? Like, uh, like I was back in college, man. I was I was a bad person who did a lot of piracy and didn't feel like, like, uh, in, worse yet, I defrauded other pirates. Like, we I had an asynchronous internet connection where I had satellite, so I was only dial up modem was my up speed, but my down speed was like T one one point three megabits or whatever. So I would go into all these chat rooms. And I would uh, I would post in all caps. I had a bot that would all times be like, "Visit the mother load of MP3s, full leech account once you once you uh, upload an album." And so people would go and they would look at all the crap I had on you know all these pirated albums. And then they would uh, they would be like, "Holy crap, this is an amazing collection!" And then uh, and so they would upload an album. And they would upload at like, you know, 1.2 megabits. They're like, holy crap, this is amazing. And then they would get leech access because they uploaded an album. And then they could download over my crappy, <laughs> my crappy dial-up collection. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, I don't know, like, um, it's crap like that. That's a story that I just told in one minute that amused no one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but like, but the two other stories are ones that I've told on the air before. There's the, there's the me Naked in handcuffs in a dress, soaking wet. No, that's uh, a good story, story to tell. That'd be How a good are you and naked it, and in a dress at the same time? You haven't heard well, the story? Eh, it's a complicated story. Okay. Uh, and then there's also the... Um, oh, crap. What was the other one? I had two of them. Um, 
damn it. I'll, have to, I'll remember the other one in like three three seconds. Uh, somebody else talk. Now yeah, I, want I mean, to know. like, I don't know if I have. Oh, Shift Lock remembered it for me. It's the, the story of me, Michael Jordan, and. Uh, uh, oh, Charles Barkley. Yeah. Charles Barkley. Yes. Uh, yes, in Las. Uh, I mean, in, in Atlantic City. In Atlantic City, that no, that's that's a funny, that's a funny story. It was, yeah, that was very funnily told. Where did you tell that? Uh, the, I told it like like on just that, a live thing. We went live on the Scam School channel for an yeah, hour uh, when was I was doing was. some Scam School live stuff. I, I don't even like, know that I don't story. Even have, um, like all mine is like really de like not funny stuff, like <laughs> driving drunk or buying drugs or <laughs> dealing drugs. <laughs> Oh my God! I want to know these stories so bad. No, now. I mean no, because like number one, here's the more depressing part. Like, there's no like um well. I mean, like, there's stuff that's really de like depressing, like me being woken up by a police officer in my car oh, when I fell asleep uh, on the side of a road. Um, but that's not funny. Like, that's just but, well, really you know, like my dad, sad. My dad has and, that same story. My dad, I grew up hearing about the time dad fell asleep behind the wheel and uh, and got woken up by a cop poking him with a nightstick to find out if he was alive. Um, later, I started to think, fall asleep behind the wheel. Yeah. No, it's a bad look, and it's bad to deal drugs. <laughs> like, don't deal drugs. It's Unless you want money. Like, then... <laughs> In that case, you know, hey, I'm not your dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so maybe maybe that's an unbalanced set of stories. But, uh... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't have anything that's like a great funny story. Like, it's really just depressing yeah, tales. Nothing about breaking the rules. Or, or it could be a high school thing. You know, a high school, like, breaking, breaking the rules thing. I don't know. I was really not, I mean, I was very... I was a fairly quiet. I was in a Renaissance recreation club in high school. You didn't like, do drop squad or anything in high school and, no. and drop stuff off. A uh, one time, Not all right. One time, no, yeah, all right. Uh, we thought me and my friends thought it would be funny if we ate an entire bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken and threw it on, uh, respectively, would scatter it out, parcel it out on our ex girlfriend's lawns. All right. No, and see, then, that's good. And then that's we made a video like for a class where it was my friend's ex girlfriend, uh, and the <laughs> the name of the production company, what like like at the beginning of the video is like 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 presented by, and it was called Chicken on Your Lawn, comma the B word, <laughs> Productions. So okay, uh, actually. That's actually uh, kind of funny in hindsight. <laughs> that's the original chicken challenge. Uh. So yeah, exactly. Like okay, but then, but like, uh, like uh, when we were doing <laughs> my vacation Sam in LA, Sam says you got her. <laughs> <laughs> when, when we were doing my vacation in LA and you came out, I was describing to Bonnie how it was. It felt like you know going to TP a house. It was fun, and uh, and she was like, oh, "You TP'd houses?" And I was like, "Yeah, like a bunch of times." And she was like. If I had known that when we were dating, I wouldn't have married you. <laughs> wow. She was, you sure? she was like, she was like, she was like horrified that I had TP'd houses. I was like, what's so weird about that? Is that weird? Like, I mean, did you guys, you guys TP'd houses, right? No. 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 Not really. But not because You're I You're a not, dick, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I didn't. All right. So there's that. <laughs> Um, apparently that's uh, apparently that's a thing. <laughs> my house got TP'd for some reason. Oh, no. For some <laughs> reason, oh, our house, sorry. our house last week. Well, yeah. our house like must have had some number, like or or we were like on a row that was named similar to another road. Our house would get TP'd all the time, and this it, there is was, like that scene. From Can't Buy Me Love, it's, where it turns out that uh, like after like there's a tradition, we TP this house every year. Like, and then yeah. I show up and I'm in the middle. Yeah, yeah, and it was just like, why is our house getting hit? And we never figured it out. We we assumed that one year, you know, we'd meet up with someone. And it was like, oh yeah, I'm at you know number that's off by half a digit that could easily get figured out. 
um to to be our house but um and it's hard it's hard to actually say it without actually saying what home i lived in um <laughs> uh dude zombies jesus says we used to drive down the road and throw bricks at mailboxes like to me i'm like well that's just vandalism <laughs> says the guy who innocently tp'd houses one of my college roommates was a kleptomaniac and so he stole everything he could get his hands on even if it was nailed down I, th I think the most amazing thing he stole was a fire alarm control from MIT. Oh, oh wow. Like the actual pull this down. So it's like if, off, he, in case there was yeah, a fire. We went to a screening of Mystery Science Theater at MIT. And we get on the subway to go back to the car, and he's like, guys, I, I can't show you, but I, it's awesome. And then finally, we're the only ones left on the train. He opens his coat. Check this out. And he's got a big sign that says, caution, lasers. And then the fire alarm control. Caution lasers? Yeah, there was a, the big warning sign that was stuck okay, to a door. Okay. And he just peeled it off, stuck it on his coat. I, Somebody, uh, I would say the most oh, illegal oh. stuff that I've done is like getting into places way underage. Oh, what um, time? Like, like where, where'd you go? Well, I mean, there was a, there was a lot. Like, I remember there was a few VIP parties um for a few internet things that I got into that I was so not supposed to be in. Um, but then also, like, I mean, every scam school shoot we did, oh, I was yeah. not 21 yet, and we shot in a bar, and and normally to fit in, I would, you know, grab a beer and, and sit around. Um, I don't know if we should say that. <laughs> yeah. Brian's, like, what? What? Brian's like, wait a second, Chad. No, I, I don't know why, like, the camera panned over to me. I'm just like... I'm like, oh, the camera's on me. Look really interested yeah. in this story. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> like, what's that's my a great time that this is the first time I've heard about it. Right, right. I remember <laughs> my, my favorite moment was we we had snuck in during South by Southwest to a bar that was given it was complete open bar. So we were, you know, drinking it up. Um and I was sitting at the bar with this other guy that I I don't even rem I don't remember, but the the bartender um was like, Man, you know, you're really like like energetic and fun. Like you should apply for a job here. Do you have a job? I was, I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm I'm 19. Like, yeah. I shouldn't be here. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, I'd love to work at your bar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, One I told time you, in ninth uh, grade, when I was high on blotter acid, I ripped a sign off the wall of an elementary school. Wait, is that a thing? <laughs> What's Can you blotter get high acid? on blotter acid? What yeah, in ninth grade. What is blotter Man, acid? Man, I just feel okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there's there's a blotter me. right there. Chad's I'm like, like I'm just like, know, what the hell is this? I don't this? know if you heard that, but Chad's like, what? What? What's blotter acid? And Jammer B just peeks his head up over the monitors, and he's like, acid on paper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, man. So it, to uh, me, in my okay. defense, it wasn't because I had like super strength or anything. It was very shoddily sunk into the walls, and I was like trying okay, to like nobody, okay, no, jigger with it. Okay, this is uh, Justin. This is where okay. It's like it's like you said that, and we all tilted our heads confused. And the place you went to, were like, oh, they're all confused as to how I was strong enough to rip it off. <laughs> no, we're confused. I don't want we're to misrepresent confused. myself like some sort of Herculean <laughs> strongman. <laughs> we're confused about the fact that you were high on blotter acid in ninth grade. Yeah. Like, is I number one? I guess this is a thing from the fact that it happened. And number two, and number two, like, who's how does one end up suddenly high on blotter acid? Uh, you have a friend. And is it who really called blotter, blotter acid? acid? Yeah, no, it's white blotters. All right. It's blotter paper that you put the acid Okay, yeah. okay. I'm apparently the last person to find out about blotter acid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here's the thing. Okay, now uh, help me out with this, okay? Is the blot when you say blotter acid, is, is this LSD acid yeah. or is it an actual functional acid used no, to no, remove no, no, like no, no, ink no. blots? <laughs> Yeah. This is it was, because I, it was I, so I, furic acid that I was well, I, mean, is, uh, I was okay, ingesting. Okay, even okay, I got that one. Like, Okay, no, 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 no. But but here's the thing, because I'm thinking like ninth grade. I don't know which is the easier to get. Is this an inhalant abuse? Is it a uh, once you uh, once uh, you uh, once you join public high school? It's so it's so easy. Someone, yeah. I, I, I just realized that I am I am doing no favors to my home state here, as as I consistently defend Florida. No, Florida's a nice place. Anyway, when I was just out of middle school, I was doing blotter <laughs> acid with my friends. Uh, 
So yeah, uh, no, it's LSD on papers, and you get little tabs of it, and uh, and the- that's what are called tabs. Because I remember people are talking about, oh, I'm gonna. Can go I take can tabs. I confess? Yeah. I'm actually I'm actually a little disappointed. Because I liked it, I liked the story better when there was like ink blotter, like like some kind of solvent used in ink blotters that was being used as an inhalant. Yeah. Okay, I mean, then I like the version of the story where there's a wizard and a small boy who has a song in his heart. I mean, <laughs> my eyes immediately went, immediately went to the blotter on Ayaz's desk. The blotter? <laughs> no, the big. That's the blotter. This? Get the but blotter. No, the black thing that Let's it's on. Blotter. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. How, See, what, like what? an acid, like a solvent to yeah. clean that. Let's sniff that. Oh, by the way, I again yeah. want to say hello to the Boy Scout staff at <laughs> Camp Woodson. <laughs> They're sending along uh, your, your Nalgene bottles. We love you guys. Oh. God, um, I, I'll tell you what, man. I don't know. This is all right, You're saying that there's no value to this story. I'm oh, amazed. no, I mean, I guess now that I tell it, it's pretty funny. Uh, and it was also, there's some funny elements to it about the person that I took it with. And uh, she was a very, um, you know, Brian, have you ever been high on acid? <laughs> there's a certain type of personality that you want to kind of avoid. And she was kind of the quintessential person that you don't want to be around because she's like one of the, like, like I want to be the part of why you're high. And like, ooh, like, oh, geez. Yeah, so it's it's like it's like dealing with somebody who like knows there's an improv bit and oversells it. Basically, and, uh, yeah, is, it was like she was doing like a really crappy one woman show of like, like <laughs> you know, it was like it was like like a, like a rejected vagina monologue or something. It was it was just her the rejected kind of, vagina monologues. The monologues were like, yeah, this one time I almost got filled. It didn't work <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that as a bit on Night Attack? The rejected rejected vagina, vagina monologues. <laughs> yeah, I almost. <laughs> there was this other time. He was a postman. I I figured you know standards are low. Turns out he was married. Yeah. <laughs> it was really awkward. My vagina is a slate that. black desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish yeah. men under five feet get near it <laughs> nine through five on weekdays. <sighs> there was one time, almost with the tennis racket. Almost. 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 I kind of yeah, got freaked yeah. out, so I didn't do it. You know, it was a uh, tennis racket that, you know, my brother used. And it was just kind of weird, so I didn't go for I was, it. I started thinking, like, what if somebody's watching? And then it's like, but I'll remember this forever. It was weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, where's this tennis racket been? I mean, it's just been like in this closet, but like people have used it. Like, I, spent, I spent the rest of the night eating cookies and cream and crying. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. I watched the internet, you know, stayed on Tumblr for a few hours. It was great. But <laughs> not that night. He's, he knows the tech news. Yeah. Ting! Sponsoring <laughs> the show tonight. Brian, are uh, you ready for a no BS mobile service? Oh my God! I'm so fed up with my mobile service. You know what they're doing? It's like they get it's the mob. Don't ever, don't start. AT and T. Not even once gonna get that tattooed across my forehead. Because once you're in, you're stuck. They get you for some stupid long contract. They start, they start hitting, needling you with fees, and they're like, it's unlimited. Oh, psych! Not unlimited anymore. Where, where are other providers? Ah, I'm gonna stop mentioning it's this one. Oh. Don't worry. It's a limited. Whoops. Not anymore. <laughs> exactly, AT&T man. is like a terrible female magician. Ting. Can, all right, can, can I tell you, in a perfect world, there would be some company that, like, eliminates all the BS and figures out a way to, like, take an existing service, resell it, but do it in, like, a sensible Pay as you go kind of way. I would love it. It would be awesome. Like I could have as many devices as I wanted. Yeah. And it wouldn't matter what device it was. It would be all my plan. I would pay for what I actually use. But unfortunately, that doesn't exist. Next bit. Uh, it does exist. Brian. What? The nationwide Sprint Network is resold to you as Ting, a no BS mobile service. No contracts or ETFs, no bundling. Ride-along services, no overage charges or penalties, and no add-on charges. Those mysterious line items on your bill, kaputski when you were dealing with Ting, they don't exist. 
Unlimited devices on one plan, a powerful online account control panel. How about no hold customer support? You got a problem? They got an answer. They're going to get to you immediately between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern time. An excellent online support for all the other times of the day. Chimera in the chat is suggesting that we have a new slogan. Get a goddamn hotspot for $6 a month. NSFW.ting.com. Hell yeah. And he follows up with like, well, that's the base rate. But like, but, but that's the thing. Is like, yeah. Listen, Ting will break out um, your your stuff by minutes, text messages, and megabytes used, and then bill you at the end of the month. So it doesn't matter. Like it, you, you're use, bro use what you're going to use. Use what you're going to use. No more guessing. And, and what's what's with every other? It. What is it? What is it with every other provider asking you to be Nostradamus? They're like, well, how many minutes do you think you'll use? Like, and I don't they're know. like, aha, you're wrong. Now pay us a bunch. Why don't you bill me like, on what I used at the end of the month? You'll send. Yeah, and that's, that's what a Ting crazy does. idea. How about this? You go visit Ting today at nsfw.ting.com. Save money and better manage your mobile phone usage with Ting. Check out their savings calculator. See how much you or your company can save. And also, NSFW viewers, we're looking out for you. Save $25 on your first Ting device when you sign up by visiting nsfw.ting.com and start saving today. Ting the number one mobile service in your heart and ours. Yeah. yeah. So are you guys going to talk about that thing that you guys were going to announce, or is that not going to happen? So uh, me and my friend Michelle like? were doing Blotter Acid, oh. and uh, yeah. we were walking around unincorporated Fort Lauderdale, yeah. and I ripped the sign off the wall. time we were both... <laughs> what did the sign say? Yeah. Uh, it, it was, was, time it was to was let kids acid. know to not be uh, He was too strong. Yeah, that sign yeah. had it coming. Yeah, and I sure. ripped it off with my bare hands. And then did you keep yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, no. He was really I was strong. terrified, so I left it there. <laughs> oh, come on. Was that a good trip or a bad trip, you would say? Uh, it was more of a surprising trip. <laughs> it was like, wow. Was it the first know. or last time that you did? I never did bladder acid again. No. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Anyway. Nice. Yeah. Oh, the big announcement. That announcement. Brian, we have a special guest at Dragon Con. No, we don't. Should we take guesses on who this person is going to be? Well, I've told both of you. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I know. I've I mean, the chat room. So, there's the old, old chat half guesses. bottle of Ruin of Johnson, by the way. <laughs> half bottle JJ. Yeah. We call. Thanks for bringing what, me what, a glass. What percentage? Well, you, it's your own fault. You should have known. There's going to be Ruin them. Bring your own glass. What's the percentage? Hey, so, uh, so, uh, so my my in laws. I gave a bottle of Ruin them to my in laws, and they had a tasting party, and the feedback I got. Was that nobody hated it? Yep, and some kind of liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say, That's, once you're it, in a few drinks, it's amazing. It's a I'll, quote for the website. Kind of liked it. I'll tell you what. Listen, here's the thing about Ruinum: does what it says. All right, <laughs> we're not yeah. selling this on. It's going to be the tastiest drink you've ever had in your life. We're selling it on ready to go to Happy Town. Twenty percent. Train is a leaving the station. It's 40 proof, folks. And you can drink it solid. So let's go on Same. over uh, the uh, the list of people who will be at the live NSFW show at Dragon Con. You have Brian Brushwood. Hold yep. on. Jammer B, pot up the... Uh, you ready? We have Brian Brushwood. Yep. Hold on. Jammer B. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is great. This is great. It's working great. Yeah, he was about to announce me, then he just sort of couldn't. All right. It almost happened. Yeah. There we go. Brian Brushwood. We have Justin Robert Young. Who's that? <laughs> Whoa! What is, this, what is this bit you're doing? <laughs> we have Tom Merritt. It's a yes from me. Okay. We have Veronica <laughs> Belmont. Yeah. Okay, you realize... um. It's, it's as though you're aping uh, Scott Johnson introducing all the guests at, at Nerdtacular. But, like, Scott Johnson picked clips that had anything to do with the person and was oftentimes a quote from each of the persons. It's like you're like, uh, that's that's what you do at these things, right? You announce who's coming and then you hit a thing and a sound happens. So, like, MC Hammer with Brian is totally appropriate. Remember when you... Made a point to me about stopping a joke midway through and why I didn't just go I'm with sorry. it. 
Keep keep going. Keep going. You're right. Yeah. This one time I was about to get banged by Justin, but then I interrupted his joke. Go ahead. I'm good. Uh, I love the moments in the show where everything just stops yeah. and you just wonder, are Brust- Justin and Brian friends anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Is that why Brian doesn't we go never were. <laughs> uh, so we got one more person that we have not announced. And one more unrelated soundboard clip to play after we <laughs> mention his name. <laughs> Who could it be? Wow, Brian. There really is, I'll tell you what. No one better to build up the excitement on an announcement, huh? Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, I, I think everything's gone according to plan. Uh, <clears throat> is it... I feel like we should play a uh, family feud here. Is it Miley Cyrus? No. Show me Miley Cyrus. No. Mm. Just to run Is down it... the list of Dragon Con guests in alphabetical order. Yeah, okay. Let me that go to the website. Good. Sounds legit. Well, there's an app, too. Is so. it? Uh, so Is Lynn it Abby? Professor Elemental? Uh, not Is until it, uh... you convince him to come. <laughs> okay, I'm working on that one. Is it... Um... People are saying Chris Hardwick. Is it Chris? Is it the nerdist himself, Chris Hardwick? I don't think so. Richard Dean it's Danny Anderson. Danny Trejo. No, it is not Richard Dean Anderson. Ed Danny Asner. Trejo. Uh, if I you told you he I was the biggest visit. star at Dragon Con, I think you could have a uh, a good shot at saying yes. He is. He is a dude whose career has has taken off in the last two years. Somebody who is near and dear to this show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, making a long-awaited return to the NSFW show, Merle Dixon himself, Guardians of the Galaxy star, direct from London, England, we have Michael Rooker. Hey, where are the white women at? (laughs) See, you're screwed. You screwed the bit up. You gave a uh, you gave a relevant quote to his character, yes. Merle Dixon. Exactly, what Merle his, Dixon his screaming, "Where the white women at?" You big rocker. There we go. Uh, yeah. How did you uh, land dude. that? Uh, I emailed him. Jeez, <laughs> that's so insane. I wish that I could be as cool as you. Uh, so there you we go. Rocker. Yes, my my internet father, uh, who I'm sure will be very disappointed slash. All right, now we'll have something in common to talk about doing blotter acid in ninth grade. Uh, me and Michael Justin. Rooker. Here's the question. Uh, between now and 48 hours from now, are we going to make sure to watch the last season of The Walking Dead so Woo! that we can talk to him? <laughs> um, how about we just say, man, it was totally stupid that they killed you. In fact, it's so stupid, I'm never going to watch the show again. I'm you know, once I heard, The Walking Dead. I was, I was behind on The Walking Dead about one season. And then when I heard they killed you off, I was like, well, forget this show. It's dead to me. Ain't no... Oh, wait. Uh, people are saying spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. Oh, sorry, everybody. Well, he's dead on The Walking Dead. Uh, no, he's, uh, he's currently shooting in London uh, for Guardians of the Galaxy. He's coming to America for Dragon Con, and Monday, he's leaving on a plane back to London to go to Guardians of the Galaxy. He is super excited to be back on the show, but because he wanted to talk about it on social media, number one, feel free to hit him up on Twitter. Let him know you're really excited that he's going to be on the show. this junk up right now. Uh, What is it? Uh, What's his Twitter handle? Something Uh, Rooker? I think it's something like... You've been Rooker. No, it's not you've been Rooker on Twitter. It's, uh, come on, man. Michael we, underscore we Rooker. People. Michael underscore Rooker, blow that up and tell him that we could not be happier that we just announced that uh, uh, you couldn't be happier that we just announced on the show that uh, Rooker is going to be at NSFW live at Dragon Con. And I will also no, say no. this. If you plan on going to the show, then get there early. Because this is going to be something that people are going to want to show up for. I think it's going to be the first one that we're going to have to turn away people for. uh, Because Michael Rooker is obviously a big deal. Walking Dead was huge. Guardians of the Galaxy is like one of the most talked about movies, uh, you know, that is currently in production. So 
get on out. Yeah, dude, it's going to be huge. Uh, we're really excited. We're hoping that uh, what we do at the Night Attack Live is going to make the album kind of perfect. It'll bookend it nicely. Uh, no idea whether or not Wolverine Hitler will make an appearance, um, but uh, I am super, super excited. See, Geeky uh, Pete in the chat room says, save some NSFW audience seats. We have no control <laughs> over this. Let me make this perfectly clear. If you want to go see NSFW live, you're going to have to get there early and wait in line because that's how it's been yeah. in previous years when we didn't have Michael Rooker, who is going to be about as big as it gets at Dragon Con this year. They're all NSFW yep. audience seats. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You can show up and get it. Uh, so just be more enthusiastic than Rooker fans who just want to see Michael Rooker. Yeah, but but be nice to them as well. And also, <laughs> yeah, don't uh, start you, a gang you, war. <laughs> yeah, or do uh, you? Do you want to? <laughs> no, there's no or do. <laughs> do you, you want to jump in on the? Uh, okay, that's all right. That's somebody needs Brian, to learn how to use the should. Brian, <laughs> we don't want to start a gang war. Okay, it would is, be it is, would be the way. horrific and terrible if we started a gang war. Am, am I the only one who knows how what a wink is for? Am I the only one who understands? Uh, Brian, <laughs> the, the, we all understand how to properly use a wink. <laughs> okay, I don't no, understand uh, what you're getting at, Brian. Double wink. <laughs> 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 Guys, can we can we uh, do you want to do you want to move on to the movie draft minute, the final movie draft minute? Yes, fine, whatever. Court uh, have your own coronation, King Toilet Paper Random Houses. <laughs> I was waiting for you to wink after it. <laughs> Welcome to your oh. final movie draft minute for the summer 2013 season. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. With the last film released, our time has reached an end. So let's go check out the scoreboard for the final movie draft minute for the summer 2013 season. Scott Johns is in sixth place with $416.8 million. Cargill is in fifth place with $445.5 million. Tom Merritt's in fourth place with $663.3 million. Sarah Lane's in third place with $674.9 million. Justin Robb Young's in second place with $698.3 million. And in first place with World's End bringing in $8.9 million, like bringing his total to $986 million. It's Brian Brushwood. And that is your final Movie Draft Minute for the summer 2013 season. I'm Roberto Villegas reminding you that when you bet on movies, always bet on Marvel. Take care. Woo! Holy crap. All right, so Brian, happening. are are you sad? Are are sad you sad that you didn't break the one billion mark? Um I don't know. Yeah, I almost <laughs> broke a billion. But then the last movie came out and I was only at nine hundred and eighty million. Uh well But I'll tell you what. Technically you have Dude. until four weeks from now, right? Yes, that is the official the official go to thing. Somebody, uh, S E B G O N Z, sub gons in the chat. Who I believe designed the no hobo. Okay, just blew my free. I almost won the belt just now. Just blew my freaking brains out the back of my skull with his with his latest t shirt design. Did you see this? Uh, no. But it, boom, look at that. New show full of oh my god that looks great, right? That should be the album established art. established two thousand nine. Uh, that is amazing. I love it. That that looks I, great. I wish, oh man. All right, so that'll be the follow up. We'll figure out some way to do that one. Love yeah, that. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll tell you. I, I almost kind of feel like we just. I, I think we've said this two or three times, but it, 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 it might be time that we just have a site where we just do limited edition shirts. Here and again. Yep. 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 No, one. no. It's it's decided. There's too many people who want them, and we want. And now to you have the infrastructure with scam stuff and everything, where it's not like we have to invent. Well, what we were talking about doing is setting up a secret, uh, a, a, a secret section of scam stuff that is total, like it's never promoted. The only way you'll know is by knowing somebody. You know, is by following the show. Uh, in fact, there's no clickable way to get there, but it's like a secret URL. 
that's a subsection of scam stuff that we could set that up. I think that'd be really cool because I'll tell you what, man, people, people make these amazing, uh, you know, one-off designs. Yeah. And if we could have a way, like I, we went, throw I, them I up bought the SDGC t-shirt. Yep. That was great. I'll be wearing it around a dragon con. And that's like a funny joke. And I think he sold a bunch of them. He sold enough on T fury or whatever to get it printed. Like, like they have like a minimum buy order and like he hit that. And that was like a one note joke that we haven't even gone back to. You know, like, right. it was like well, and plus also yeah, it, the very nature of those sites is that, uh, Teespring, is that Teespring, sorry. you know, Teespring gets all the money. Right. You know, so and then and and, and uh, my guess is no? people wouldn't mind if the people well, who made tell, up the jokes yeah. were able to get a well, chunk of cash with, with Teespring. You have to sell the minimum, but anything beyond that, you get the money from that. They they sell it for a certain price for the shirt, but you can set the no. price higher than that if you want. Right. But the but the point is is all of them you're looking at you you end up paying like twelve to fourteen dollars per shirt uh, even when they go up to to add volume whereas if you work with a screen printer locally if you don't mind holding on to inventory right. and mailing yeah. them out yourselves you can get t-shirts made for four and a half bucks and then then all of a sudden you're actually making real money on it and it's all of a sudden a valuable thing it's there's always a trade off for convenience versus. Um, you know, in those things, and so the yeah, trade -off you're is investing in in shirt inventory, and and it's right. funny because you like you are the only person that I've ever known to to do that so far. It seems such a crazy concept for everyone else. Uh, I did that for my website, and I'm not doing it again. Now I use Teespring. Just really, I well, it took I mean, me four I, years to sell off all my shirts. Like, like that that trade off is really dependent on demand and your willingness to yeah. ship stuff out. The the difference is that now Brian has an infrastructure. Where he is sending stuff out every day, so like we're doing fulfillment regardless, right? Yeah, and yeah. and plus also in the history of the show, we've never held on to uh, inventory uh, for for more than a, a day. It's like it's like you know. Well, we have so, yeah. so it's like 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 basically we sell we sell our Dragon Con like this, this is what will happen. We sell our Dragon Con inventory, and then what is left over is very oftentimes just the odd sizes, and then we put those up. On the first day after Dragon Con, and uh, they're gone in ten minutes. But you know? but the key is that we got to maintain the scarcity. I do not ever want these. I want these to go and go fast and be special, and then that's it. Everything's got to be limited runs. They yeah. got to be special, oh, I agree. and we got to keep I think it. We keep do it the that. runs, and then we sell them. And if they are so insanely like crazy, then maybe we think about doing a second run. But there's always an end. Anyway, yep. thanks for yep. watching this uh, twist this week in t-shirts. Um, <laughs> if you want to subscribe, make sure that you go to twit.tv slash twist. And we have every version How available. How is twist this week in t-shirts? <laughs> twits. 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 Yeah. Twits. twits. Yeah. twits. Hey, is that the silent T in t-shirts? Yeah, it is. Has, has somebody registered this week in shirts twits? would have worked. This week in shirts, has yeah. Somebody, have somebody registered twits.tv and made a parody site of twit.tv? Twits. <laughs> It's the Kinda fan run version uh, of Twit. All right, Brian, I want to make my formal yeah. proposal to you right here on this uh, show. Will you marry me? I, I'm already, Jay I'm backslash already married. K. Yeah. Uh, winter movie draft. We got to yeah. start thinking about that now that this one's over. Uh, yep. The Puerto Rican League, as I like to call it. <laughs> sure. Until you win it, in which case it's the the the, the crown champion league, the, the uh, real league. No, I'll be happy to be head Puerto Rican. <laughs> the only it. finally a Puerto Rican wins the Puerto Rican League. <laughs> uh, all right, auction draft, but we don't go in order of how they come out. We do it like a regular fantasy football auction draft, where oh, each geez. person uh, says the movie they want to put into the auction. Right? Yeah. Everybody gets five movies. You need to get five, even if you don't draft five. You get uh, the five, the the other one from everything else that's out there. All right, um, and then so that way everybody has an equal number of movies, and then you can drop a movie if you want to pick up another movie that is unclaimed in the like in in the great expanse of movies. That seems like that'll be really good until. You get to the end, and then everybody just has mad chaos to try to drop. For, uh, mad chaos I, I, for what? I, first of all, I, uh, first of all, let me say this: I, I think that that the winter draft is a great place to try and experiment and and mess around with other stuff. Um, 
So it's like I'm down for that. But the way you described it, it's an auction, but you have to have five movies. What happens when... Uh, how, how do you settle the fist fights uh, when you get to the last movie? It's like... Uh, well, I mean, the idea is that we always leave movies undrafted. We always do. Like, The Butler was number one the last two weeks, and we didn't have that in the draft, right? Okay. So there will always be movies out there that we don't draft that you can pick up after the draft uh, real is quick, over. Real quick, I've so got you can end the one... auction with four or three movies, and then... Okay. I, uh, Right. No, uh, I, I hear where you're coming from, but somebody in the chat's wrong, so I got to fix it. Uh, LOL, Brian, I won the summer draft, so the winter draft is good for uh, practicing and not counting. Uh, Colin, I've also won the winter draft. So they, they, <laughs> just, just to, to, let me just, just, let's just be clear that, that, that this is not motivated by trying to denigrate the winter draft. I, if it were up to me, the winter draft would be the only draft. <laughs> um, but the <laughs> full, full suite. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. I was so fascinated by that that I didn't hear what you were saying just then, Justin. Um, well, I guess I'm, I'm, I don't know what you're confused about. Uh, okay. So you're saying keep a pool of other movies that aren't... So, well, that so, always so now exists. the slate... Right. right. Okay. Like that pool exists now in the draft that we so just So now did. the pool is all the movies, full stop. The pool is every movie that you want to put into the draft. So somebody picks, everybody in the draft picks five movies they want to be in the draft, slots. and they just determine the ones you bid on. Oh, no, 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 no. You can name, we keep naming movies, or we can just do, like, and that, that the idea of, of how the draft operates is secondary. Like, really, we can Maybe. do the draft the exact same way that we do it. The idea is just that you have a cap, like, your slate is five movies, and you can spend all you your money on two movies. movies. You can send all your movie, uh, all your money on, on five, but... Any empty spot, like after the draft is over, you can either drop a movie uh, or add a movie from the pile of movies that did not get drafted. Man, that's tough, Justin, because what it does is it forces everybody to play the game in essentially the same way. Because I remember, um, I think I had six movies in one of the drafts, and I remember being really excited that I was making a bunch of little bets because that's the way I like to play the game. But if there's a cap of five, all of a sudden I have to play the mega hits game that everyone else does. And I'm afraid that there's not enough, um, not enough diversity in there to, to well, we can I, make I, it I feel like, I mean, I, I mean like, like, like the number of movies is not, is not so much important. Although it is something that I think we would, if we went with something like this, we would have to find where that sweet spot is. The idea is that you need to have a cap if you want to institute the ad drop thing, which like adds a whole nother element to the game beyond the draft. Because right now, yeah, you build your boat at the draft and then you push it into the water and it's just us watching that as it goes along. Whereas now, A, we eliminate the the controversy of like, well, my movie got dumped, so I get a replacement movie. Now, if your movie gets moved, like bad news, bro, like you have to pick up your own movie out of the pile of movies that have yet to come out. And then also, yeah. it gives uh, the whole, it, it gives kind of a crackle of life to oh my God, this trailer just came out and it is awesome and nobody has it. Now do I think about dropping my weakest movie to get that movie? Yeah, I uh, I do agree that adding an element that would make changes happen live would make for a livelier uh, a livelier game. Um, I just, uh, I, I guess I just need to wrap my mind around exactly what, what it is because I'm assuming all of these are based on existing fantasy drafts, right? These aren't, New ideas that you're throwing out there. Yeah, but, but I mean, like basically, the way the way that moves. most sports fantasy drafts works are, are that like you get x amount of positions that you're playing. And now, what about can... what about what about trading shares in movies? Like, let's say somebody auctions and buys, uh, you know, Iron Man three or whatever, and then offers to sell a quarter of it to someone. I mean, is that? I mean, but then at some point you just end up with the Hollywood Stock Exchange, which isn't fun. Well, and yeah. And it's certainly not fun to watch. I, I'm not a know? huge fan of shares. Like, I, I don't... Yeah. I think it'd be an interesting league to play in. Uh, I don't know if that is... If that's how uh, how I would like to kind of run this one. But I do like the idea that, like, drop adding and dropping movies would be a thing. Because, like, we've never seen a trade in any of the leagues we've run. Right? Right. Like, that's, right. that's never something that anybody's been interested in. But... 
Would somebody, would I want to, like, let's say I, I came in second to you, right? Yeah. This would be a more interesting game if I was able to drop, well, probably not in this thing because I had four movies, but if I was able to add the butler uh, to my to my slot there, so I had one more movie, uh, and now I would be, this would be a race. Now, if Sarah wanted to add the butler too, how would you determine who gets it? The, it goes in the same way that you would do a waiver wire in a regular fantasy draft. The person with the least amount of money gets the highest waiver pick if somebody puts in puts it in for the same week. Now, what what, what does that mean when you say the, like the wire. least amount of money left over? So right now it's 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 ended. Uh, the the draft is kind of officially over with like Cargill at the bottom, right? Right. So if in that in in week three or something, Cargill saw, oh my God, the Butler's coming out. So Forrest waiver Whitaker, wires basically. Okay. Like he, okay, but, and, and oh, both man, me, that, that and both me and Cargill both said we wanted the Butler in the same week. Then he would get it because he has a lower. Uh, yeah, that seems super easy to game though, because then yeah. what you do is you backload your you you buy all the biggest hits at the very end, and then you're able to waiver wire as Buzz builds uh, at the end. You're able to, or, or as Buzz builds for movies, and we figure out what the surprise hits are. You're able to, uh, because you have no money, because you made sure to backload at the end, then you're able to jump in. But, I mean, I guess maybe it would balance out because everyone would play that way. I don't know. I mean, it's, those the big I mean, movies here, here, are only going here, to go. Here's, here's the difference. No, no, no. I, I guess here's what I'm saying the difference is. Uh, the waiver wire, as you described it, used in sports leagues, uh, everyone you own starts generating revenue at the very first game that they're in. Or by the – a month into the game – there's not a single player that you have unless he got injured or whatever that's not generating revenue for you or generating points. Uh, the very nature of our game is that it's all chronologically based, and so you have to wait until someone has a nap bat. Now, you you do get differences in anticipation as you get closer to it, but uh, but but there's no there's no way until you hit August 1st for you to know whether or not your August 1st release is going to do well or not, or, or you would generate nothing up until that moment. That's That's the tricky part for me on this. I think what we really need is a peer review that makes sure yeah, that yeah. they check every <laughs> single person's account. I mean, yeah, all right. I mean, we, listen, and then, sure. So, like, I don't know, man. Like, but I just everybody had an has idea. a secondary like, point fine. system that makes sure... <laughs> <laughs> so it seems for, way I, too complicated. I, I look forward to hey Twitch guys, new look. shows, Spoiler Zone a, and Movie Draft. Here's <sighs> a here's a t-shirt for Dukakis and Bush 16. <laughs> That's a good T-shirt. I'd buy that. <laughs> I think we keep it the same because whatever yeah. you just described, either I'm too drunk or it's too complicated. Well, I All get right. it. Listen, but, but half Brian, a bottle. Is, <laughs> I, I'm I get it, him but down. Brian's yeah. right because it's uh, the stuff. It, like if somebody's got stuff late in the season, they're always going to be able. Yeah, to Yeah, I don't. Whatever. I don't. I, well, how do you like, mean? Like the purpose of a waiver wire. The, okay, the purpose, as I understand it, of what you described a waiver wire as, is to ditch your underperforming. Uh, purchases and replace them with higher performers. The problem is perspective you higher performers. Yeah, correct. But the problem is, is if your movie is in August first, you spend the first three quarters of the entire game waiting to find out whether it's a performer or underperformer. Uh, and and the problem is, is uh, like that's fundamentally different. So so the uh, <laughs> the relevance of the waiver wire is is uh, it, it 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 makes it more. But that just adds someone, another element, like to why you are drafting. I mean, there's a difference between no, drafting movies no. early versus drafting movies late. As someone who who isn't in the draft, the idea that the Stop draft angling is set. for a position in no, the draft. I'm, no, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not saying that. As a viewer, as a viewer, <laughs> the idea joking. that you set the draft and then later. It changes that like, oh, no, like now Jerry switched up his thing and now he's at the top like that. That completely defeats the whole episode of the first of the making of the draft. No, well, what if we did it so that the participants had they pick the five movies? Everybody comes in with five movies they want to see in the draft. OK. Or even just like grade school style. You pick, you pick, you pick yeah. until you've got the full. That slate. was that was my initial thought. And so if somebody wants the butler or whatever to be in there. Yeah. Then it can no, be. Okay. Yeah, then, that, exactly. then that's, then that's, that's what, totally that was different. my that's initial not, thing. Okay. But that's not what you said. What you said was <laughs> that it would be an auction just like we did. No. And with the addition the of a waiver an auction wire. is normally done, which is that each person says what they want to be auctioned. And we keep going around in a circle yeah. until we each have five movies. 
No, they're not picking okay. them for themselves. They're no, I know. Okay. Yes, they're submitting it to be auctioned off. Okay, and then yes. we all not, auction. Not, okay, because yes. what Patrick described was the snake draft and uh, or, or uh, the snake. Uh, no, uh, the, yeah, the, no, no, the, no, no, the no, snake no. in the grass yeah. draft. No, 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 no snake draft. It's a regular. The way an auction normally goes is that I say Iron Man three, and then we all start bidding on Iron Man three, and then somebody gets Iron Man three, and then Patrick says the Butler, and and then we all start bidding on the Butler, and somebody gets the Butler. And then basically that just keeps going, uh, but like the thing is, you need you need a cap there because otherwise we just keep going forever. That's Man. fine until uh, people are out of money. All right, this, these are all really are good yeah. discussions that we should have not on an episode of NSFW. Uh, I say I say we go and wrap things up here. Uh, I think you've got really good points, Justin, and I definitely want to hear it. I think it's just too tedious. This is how the sausage is being made right now, so we shouldn't do it on the show. But. Um, I guess uh, Dragon Con will be live streaming in some form or other. Audio probably only live this Sunday night. If you want to join us, uh, what else, what else we got to get through, Justin? And I'm so depressed and uh, that's I'm it. Spend the rest See you at Atlanta, everybody. Atlanta's going to be fun. And then Petaluma and right afterwards. See you next Sunday. Sucks. See you next Sunday. What Sunday? Is that what you took? NSF, Basically? Oh, is that blood? Oh, that is blood wrestling. Okay. I love you. <laughs> yeah, yes. Go. Oh, you got it.